The former lawyer for Donald J. Trump, who once said he would take a bullet for his boss, today found himself under fire from Trump's current lawyer. Michael Cohen, the state's key witness in the Trump criminal trial, hammered by defense lawyers who tried hard to discredit him. Did they succeed? Here's Jim Dolan. Michael Cohen once called himself Donald Trump's designated thug, a wannabe tough guy who now says he was knee deep in the cult of Donald Trump. Things have changed. You better believe I want this man to go down and rot inside for what he did to me and my family. I was from a podcast and was played for the jury today as Trump's lawyers tried to show a man hell bent on revenge by the president who abandoned him. Todd Blanche tried to rile and rattle Michael Cohen, pointing out for the jury that Cohen was a serial, a convicted liar who had lied to Congress, to the FBI, to banks, to reporters, and to election officials, among many others. In fact, maybe, attorney Todd Blanche suggested, to this jury. Cohen had testified about a 96-second phone call made to Trump's bodyguard Keith Schiller, saying that he and Trump finalized the hush money payments to Stormy Daniels in that call. That was a lie, Blanche bellowed in court. He produced text messages that showed Cohen and Schiller were discussing prank phone calls Cohen had been getting from a teenager. Cohen said part of it, the phone call, was the 14-year-old, but I knew Keith was with Trump at that time. That's a lie, Blanche again shouted. You didn't talk to Trump that night. You can admit it. No, sir, I can't, Cohen answered calmly because I'm not sure that's accurate. Trump did not violate federal election law at all. Mr. Trump has taken this week to reading what other like-minded people are saying about his trial, but he does not say much about the matter himself, perhaps because of the gag order and the threat of jail for violating it. Not much has really changed in the five weeks since this trial began. It hinges now, as it did at the outset, on whether the jury believes that Michael Cohen after a lifetime of lying to anyone who would listen, is suddenly telling the truth. We'll know soon enough what the jury believes. The judge said today that lawyers should be ready for closing arguments on Tuesday. Mr. Cohen will be back on the stand on Monday. Jim Dolan, Channel 7 Eyewitness News.